And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there for some more Dredge. We only played this the one time uh, maybe two weeks ago or so now, and it was a ton of fun, and we actually went 5-0. We were really lucky in order to do that, of course, but it was a lot of fun, and I want to go ahead and play it again and try it out. The I'm only making uh, two small changes here. Uh, last time we had... Um, we had Wanda Vertebrae, I think that's the name. We had a one-mana artifact that mills yourself for a little bit, like just like one card a turn. And instead, we're putting Ashiox um, instead of that card in here. It does raise our, our curve up some, but Ashiox is just a really powerful card. Uh, you know, it's really good against these Dreadhorde decks, but it just it can mill yourself very, very quickly. The point of our deck, I guess if you if you don't know what the point of our deck here is, we are a self-mill deck. We are just going to be trying to mill ourselves um, as fast as possible and find all of our arc like phoenixes to put into play creeping chill our opponent four times get some narc amoebas in there also and you know attack with these phoenixes the other thing we can do besides just attacking with the phoenixes to kill our opponent if we mill ourselves out quickly enough we can win off of jace's uh passive ability whenever you draw a card if your library has no cards you win the game so that's what we're trying to do. And so Ashiok will minus on ourself and put the top four cards of our library into our graveyard and then exile our opponent's graveyard. So we're going to be self-milling really quickly there. Uh, because because the uh, because we're milling ourselves, basically our best card in our deck that we want to see every, every opening hand is Drown Secrets. This is really the card that we want all of the time. Um... As far as the other, the only other small little change I'm making is I'm taking out the two spy glasses from the sideboard because I didn't even want the spy glasses even against like the planeswalker decks. I just didn't really want that card because I don't want to actually sideboard too much with this kind of deck. Um, so taking out those two spy glasses and putting in a, a fourth Ashiok and a fourth Jace. So against the because against the control decks we turn into a mill deck and we mill our opponent uh, against the control decks that try to have a whole lot of interaction for like our phoenixes and stuff. And we just use Jace, we'll use Ashiok, we'll use these Drown Secrets to mill our opponent out. That's We uh, turn into, into that kind of deck. So I want an extra Ashiok and Jace for those matchups. Um, aggro decks are going to be our toughest, especially like Mono Red's probably going to be, like I don't, we didn't play against Mono Red last time, thankfully. That would be a really tough one. I'm still, I'm going to go over to the traditional Constructed queue again with this deck. I guess I could play ranked. Eh, oh well. Now we'll, let's do the. Let's do this. Um. Oh, I should probably. I should switch this from being Bolus. Bolus was not good luck for us at all with Grixis. I need to switch this. I haven't won very much with Bolus in a long time. I'm assuming gla like Glass Ashiok is probably going to be one of the you know one of the Planeswalker rewards for one of the other events. Um, all 36 of the the War of the Spark Planeswalkers will have the Glass ones come out, so they'll all come out in the next you know five weeks or whatever. It's going to be for all of those little events you know where we had Momir and now Popper and so on. What's going on here? There may not be any more glass planeswalkers in the store. It might just be the only ones in the store may just be like those ones that are in there now. Um, and then you, you try to win the rest of them. And because there's so every single week there's four four because there's three that you win plus there's a code for a fourth you know like there's they do like the 
the free code giveaway for a fourth. So if there's five weeks, five times four, of course, is 20. That means there needs to be 16 other ones. And... If there are 16 other ones... Hmm. Maybe, is it six weeks? Hey, what's up, Punk RD? It's five weeks. So I'm not exactly sure how the rest of them are going to come on out. Schedule. Sub number That's more like 18 it. on the day. So we can be a little slower, it's all good. Trust me, I have a plan. So next turn, we're going to mill over eight cards and put all the Arclight Phoenixes back into play. Because I can go opt, briefing opt, and cat, so I can cast three spells next turn, each one milling myself for Would you like to uh, see two. What's left of Scar? We'll see how many phoenixes are in those eight cards. That'd be four. nice to hit two phoenixes. Ugh, that's the worst spot for a phoenix to be. Because I actually have to draw it. I can't put it on the bottom though, right? I can't put it on the bottom of my library. I was like the one spot I didn't want to see in Arclight Phoenix. Ugh. All right, we got a phoenix. I'll just put that on the bottom. I don't really want to draw a narc amoeba. I'll be back, just like before. Yeah, next turn we can we can radical the yeah. That's what we can yeah. Next turn we'll radical the phoenix. So you're right. It's not that's not the worst thing. Another phoenix? Dang. Um... Nah, I don't really need that card. <laughs> I guess we get it though. You just let me know if you're up for round two. <clears throat> Please no deputy of detention.
Alright, that's fine. No, it's to mill- we have Ashiok to mill ourselves. You see it says exile each opponent's graveyard. We don't- you don't exile your own graveyard. So we're at 27 cards. So we have two more Creeping Chills and two more Phoenixes. I guess we just start working towards those. This way. Ah, get that off my screen. To use that mission briefing. That was Phoenix. So I didn't play the second secrets because then I wasn't going to be able to play three instants or, and sorceries to be able to get back a phoenix. So I'm at 18 cards. Wild animals I like. People, all things begin and end in nature. I don't think Jace plus Ashiok's gonna help me win. This is gonna be this is gonna be kinda tough for me, honestly. Ooh, that's perfect. Perfect. Alright, so that'll get back a Phoenix. Perfect. So all we have to do is hit hit a creeping chill or another Phoenix, but obviously we have to we have to draw another spell. Um, yeah, I mean, we're going to have to draw another spell. I don't have... What are y'all talking about? This thing has reach. Oh, if I just didn't block? Right, okay. Well, I blocked. That'll work. All right, so what do we want to do here? They're playing a bunch of creatures. So I should probably have Ritual of Sits to try to kill all those creatures. I think I kind of just want Ritual of Sets. I don't know if I really want all this stuff. Hmm. What's the plan versus a curve? I don't I lose. I don't know. Hope our opponent doesn't curve out twice in a row, two games in a row. Ooh, Spark Harvest. That's an interesting sideboard card. That that is a that is a really interesting sideboard card. Spark Harvest.
Yeah, that's that one's pretty interesting. You can sack a phoenix, kill something, bring your phoenix back. I like that. Yeah, Deputy is a card I'm certainly worried about. I'm bringing in extra Jason Ashiok against Control. Because the plan against Control is to mill them out. My deck is so much better when I have Drowned Secrets. I'm considering Shocking here for Opt to look for Drowned Secrets, honestly. Yeah, I think I do. I'm going to try to course next turn. Drowned Secret's just our most important card. Man, Opt is great. It's not Drowned Secrets, though. Tilt. Give me that Opt instead. Hooray! Yay! They got another time waster. Just time walks us. I am not making this up as I go. So it's basically basically I'm gonna have to wait till six mana before I get to bring Phoenix back. Let's see if you're worthy. Starting over is the only way. This. Might be a bad idea. Those are those creeping chills are really bad draws. Alright, I can't cast anything at instant speed. So I can opt briefing opt or opt briefing charter course actually. That's just better because we drew this land for next turn. Shall I? You can still walk away. Let's try this. So yeah, I decided I'm just going to actually just play this Jace here to start getting extra cards with it. Before really Don't. digging. This is all just an illusion. It's a matter of give and take. We have 35 cards in the, over there. I think I can mill myself out in two turns. So I think my opponent has two turns to kill my Jace. I'll protect you. Oh uh, well, I guess that they have frilled, they have frilled Mystic. Encounter my Drown Secrets, that'd be bad. Okay, I can deal with that. I got two Phoenixes to get back next turn. You fight like a city brat. Wow, just attack me? Not even attack Jace? Sure, you can hit me for three. And go to 18. It's always an answer. So 
So I need to be able to cast three spells here, get these phoenixes back. This is looking good. Ugh. Ugh. Why does it have to be right there? Well, all right, well, we'll ditch it next turn to Radical Idea. <laughs> oh, we could have, we almost had four Phoenixes. This thing has trample. So I want to get that out of there. Oh my gosh. All the creeping chills. Does this target a player anyway? No, it's just each opponent. All right, perfect. Found another radical idea. I mean, I could just attack. Oh, I only I only have one black source to cast these creeping chills. Nah, no attacks. Um. So this is it. Can our opponent get rid of the Jace? If they cannot, I Let win. Show you what was lost. Oh, I should keep Soot for Deputy. That's a good call. That's a good call. Why would I not attack? Because I'm protecting Jace. Because Jace wins the game. Here. Like, if they don't have removal for... Because... I'm I'm just gonna mill myself out this next turn. Yeah, they're they're digging. Sorry, I'm late. They did not have removal for Jace. Now this deck's pretty sweet. Yeah, I did not have the double black for for a um, ritual of set at the time. I don't like how this is acting up. I'm gonna try to cancel this. If I can. Ah. Huh. 
How do we match up against Mono Red? Probably horribly. I I can't really imagine where like this deck would ever beat Mono Red. Like winning two out of three games it had to be so tough. Like you need like creep. You'd have to hit like all sorts of creeping chills early with yourself, Millen. Right, we're basically on the Jace Wielder of Mysteries plan this game. Does Monored have a bad matchup? Not really. I think everybody... I think it's just kind of across the board. Basically, everybody overrates their Mono Red matchup with every deck. Like, you know, anybody who has, like, a favorite deck, whatever they... How, like, whatever percentage or whatever they tell you about their Mono Red matchup, it's worse than that. I honestly do think people just overrate their their matchup against Mono Red and, and say and or think it's better than what it actually is. Zhang Yanju. Ooh, Drown Secrets. Alright, but... I'm just playing this chase, though. Alright, there's a chill. Opponent's down to 17. So we're not going to do a whole lot next turn, but then uh, the turn after that, whenever we have 6 mana, that's when we'll start doing stuff. I mean, I don't really know what we're you know, we're kind of playing against a, a pile over here. Uh, thanks, Wild BTK. Uh, re try refreshing your stream also, Wild BTK. Sometimes you have to refresh, and then it'll come up at the top, like a, a message at the top of the chat. I know Tamio for a deck like this because I don't know Tamio costs green mana. This is we're basically playing a mono blue deck with these Jace Wilder of Mysteries. We we barely cast black or red spells. Like in the main deck, it's just Creeping Chill and Arc Light Phoenix. So that is just barely casting those things. So I wasn't gonna, wasn't really going to be able to get Phoenix's back. So like next turn we will though. Like we'll have mission briefing for discovery. That that should really dig a long ways in our deck. Um. I guess my Jace is gonna die, here, which is sad. No option? Dang. All right, well, Wild BTK, I'm counting you then. It's not Lenya. So I can do, uh, this is what I can do. Let's, oh, hey, no, I got an alert here. Did that not come up a little bit ago? I can do that alert right there. See, there we go. Came up. All right, Jace is going to die, hero. Ooh, not killing Jace. We get to mill one more time with Jace. Now we've got a fight on our hands. All right, time to 
Super dig and look for... All right, how many cards are we going to actually mill out from here? So we're at 40 in library right now. Oops. So I feel like it's going to be a lot. Wow. Well... This will come in handy. Well, we got a second drown secrets. There's a Phoenix. That's our first one. Another Narcomiba. Let's put that on the bottom. So we're at 20 cards now. There's a the second Phoenix. We only had two Phoenixes in the top bunch. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll just keep the opt. That'll work. I think I've trample. That's tilt. All right, and we can get all the phoenixes for the next turn. <laughs> no, one phoenix down. So even if Jace dies here, you know, if they attack Jace, uh, I don't really worry. I'll have the phoenixes be lethal. Mowu. Mawu. Momentary setback. Miba. All right, they're down to two. I guess I have to make sure I don't actually mill myself out before I'm drawing. I mean, I know I could just, I know I could just attack them. I want to get all four phoenixes over here, though. All right, we have one card left. Fog. I guess even if it's a fog, I'd have one card left to draw. Oh yeah, I'm not harming Mowu for sure. Yeah, good boy Mowu stays unharmed, absolutely. We went from 40 down to our library was gone in two turns. Yeah, I mean, Drown Secrets is like my best card, right? So I'm, I'm keeping this. Perfect. Perfect. We'll save the opt for after we have Drown Secrets in play. Sorry, Mirko. I'm just going to keep playing it here. <laughs> so 
So we need five mana to be able to do all those. So to be able to play three spells to get back Phoenix right now, we need five mana. If I draw another land here, I could could just play the Jace and tick up and, you know, maybe let Jace die, but at least uh, give me another chance at drawing a land. Alright, not a land. Let's go Discovery. We'll find another one of those, but we need land drops, so... Look for land. There's a land. Attack of the Narcomibas. Starting to thunder outside. What? Blanchwood armor. That creature's so big. Hi, I'm Giang <laughs> yeah, it's surprising. That is surprising the Narcomuba got upgraded to rare. I wonder if it was like because yeah. draft? Maybe they didn't want like a whole bunch of Narcomibas in limited. Like that's probably why. Probably just didn't want a bunch of those things. Wow, four lands right there. When that's what I need is a land. Okay, we found a land. Pretty sure my opponent's just going to be dead here. Yeah, I think they're dead. Pretty sure we can attack for 11. Yeah. So turn five kill. Turn five kill. We were, we have been really good at getting our drown secrets. <clears throat> yeah, like drown secrets is just so good. Yeah, just three this time. We are seven zero with this dredge deck now, but our opponent's playing some Angraths. I don't like. I don't like our chance against Angrath. Sphinx of Foresight. That's a weird card to have in your Angrath deck. <laughs> this deck is pretty silly. Surge Mare. Yeah, 
Yeah, just chill out with those Surge Mares over there. My, week went, my weekend has been awesome, Zerf. Had a lot of fun with the sub battle stream yesterday. Had a good day streaming today also. Even even though Grixis went the Grixis mid-range deck went 04. Resolute Watchdog? People are weird. We need to find an opt in order to cast three spells. We haven't seen any phoenixes, though. Oh, it's a high alert deck. So that's two of my jaces as far as, like, winning. Um... Come on up. I need the opt here, not over there. Nope. Opt. We have to get pretty lucky just to draw an opt here, but maybe we will. Nope. We haven't seen any phoenixes, though. We haven't seen a single phoenix yet. <clears throat> yeah, Bant Party Bus is, is supposed to be uploaded. Um... Yeah, actually, it should be up pretty soon. It something uh, wrong happened the first time, so I had to re had to re-upload it, and so it's sitting at it's sitting at ninety five percent right now, which it usually does for like five to twenty minutes. There's the phoenixes. Found them. Found him with 15 cards left in the library. Finally found some. Alright, all we had to do is find one more Phoenix. Which, I think it's impossible not to. Or we could just cast that. I mean, yeah, I could just cast this Creeping Chill. And then attack. Or, we can find more Phoenixes. Yeah, I could have had healing salve. You never know. Good call. Healing salve could have got us. <laughs> I love jank fights.
something in my eye. If the stream just like shuts down suddenly at any point, it's because of the weather, I guess. Cause it's, I can hear the thunder. You know, it's thundering outside. Drown secrets. Drown secrets keep. Uh oh. We're supposed to draw another land though. Hey, Deco Knight. There's the other land. Found it. Aw, oh, thanks, Rex. Amoeba. All right, good. No high alert. Than Argamiba. Um, yeah, it's tough to replace mission briefing in this deck. It's so important, but yeah, if you have to replace mission briefing, then you have more charter courses. That's the that's the way to go. If you have to. Because mission briefing is like the card that helps you. Like it's it's the card that gets you back, uh, Phoenix. It's a matter of give and take. So we need. There we go. So say we need any spell. In case we get a, diff a better spell, like another discovery, for example. Kind of want all these cards. Maybe I don't need the, the next chase. Guess I just put the sixth land over here. Oh, six land's pretty important. Go and drown seek no. Hmm. I guess it's the other Jace. Yeah. Bzz. I was saying chill. I don't know. Chill can kill him. Toughness one or less can't be blocked.
Well, that's annoying. Your victory is just an illusion. Well, that's certainly annoying. Now I wish I would have cut the chase. Reason for not attacking was to protect Jace, because I was going to kill him with Jace. But obviously this Tetsuko, because like, you know, they have a lot of power in play also, but the Tetsuko... Kind of changed that. Yeah, search is too slow for this. You don't you don't really need a search. For Ascanta. You would play more charter courses before you'd play search for Ascanta. Hmm. It's a tough one. So I know my very bottom card is another Jace. Do we do it? Do we have three Phoenixes in here? No, oh, we do. Wait, we didn't do it. They're not dead. It's three chills, and I cast the other chills. So I'm out of chills. Bleh. All right, well, they cannot kill me right now. I'm going to one. Yeah, I could mission briefing into chill. I can draw the Jace and play the Jace and win with Jace. So I have, I have two different ways, either mission briefing chill or uh, draw draw the last Jace. Because I know it's I know it's that last card. I can I can draw that last card um, exactly, and then play Jace and tick up and win with Jace. Also, so there we go. All right, Dredge. Keep dredging. 
let's let's actually do a reset. Doing more resets than normal with this weather. Why they scoop? Because they couldn't block everything that I had on the battlefield. They were at one. Yes, control is your good matchup. Yes, we are very good against control. We are not very good against like gruel aggro and mono red and stuff like that. Control were real, real good because control you just milled you milled out control decks. They usually can't they can't stop you from milling them out. That's the plan against control. Like all your drowned catacomb triggers, you just send them send them up with the opponent because control decks take a long time to win. And they're just sitting there with all their removal in hand while you're just milling them out. Well, sand's not very good, but it can it has velocity. So we get to search for stuff. But we have nothing in our hand. Uh, mono white's probably really bad for us. Okay, well we found our win cons. There's not tons of Mortify is being played right now, but yeah, Mortify does kill Drown Secrets and and everything. Yep, it does. But you also have your Ashiox and your Jaces. Hmm. I think I'm going to use a Chart of Course right now. Looks to be a little bit of a budget Mono White. Oh no, that Ashiok. Wait, I don't need that Ashiok. Okay. <laughs> Ow. Have any phoenixes in here? There's a phoenix. Hmm. Yeah, we can race. Silverbeak Griffin. All right, let's go get a bunch of Phoenixes and Chills. That's our that's our deck, Phoenix and Chill. There's a chill. Do I want to draw Ashiok? No. Ugh. If I would have drawn the Ashiok, we would have been able to get that other chill there. Because, you know, we would have milled over the chill right here. All right, found all the chills. Now the phoenixes, in the phoenix and chill plan. There's one phoenix. A 
second Phoenix. Two Phoenix. Um, yeah, I'll just take a shock land. I, I'm going to need another land next turn. Birdies. Birdies. You got to mill the chill. <laughs> the mill chill pill. The chill mill pill. <laughs> yeah, fire and ice. Divine arrow. All right, are we dead? I mean, they are very dead. It's do they have a pump spell to kill us? You know, like a, something that pumps the whole team. Because that's only eleven right there. <laughs> Mill and chill. <laughs> yeah, Rev Daddy, if you want to play this deck, you, you really need mission briefing. But I know that's that's not a good rare to use like if you're you know short on wild cards and everything because it's not for anything else except for this deck well it's a good sign for us that law rune enforcer is not attacking what's up 619 oh it is now Our opponent's not playing a main deck counter spell, right? Like, I can just cast this Creeping Chill and it resolves and they die. Because the problem is, if I cast this and it gets countered, then I'm kind of out of luck. Then I don't get to play three spells. Really? Well, I'm dead. All right, that was... I honestly just didn't think they'd have a counterspell. Oh, wait. I'm going to attack. No, Divine Arrow! Ugh, yeah, should have just gone the safe route. I've just cast three spells. Should have just gone the safe route. Dang. Just get more Phoenix... Just get another Phoenix back. No, my mill and chill plan. The chill didn't work. More mill, less chill. <laughs> More mill, less chill. Man, veto? Rude. Very rude. <laughs> hmm. All right, gonna take out Narcomibas as they look like they'll just, you know, chump block and instead have some removal in here. Yeah, it's all right. We we lost the game. Hopefully, it was still entertaining, though. Ugh. Cool, Credicom. I'm glad you're liking the Steely Dan. They're one of my favorite bands. Yeah, yeah, that's what I, I thought the Arrow, but I don't know. Ugh. I should have just shocked and played three spells and milled myself a bunch more and had at least one more phoenix and maybe two don't 
Don't like my chances here. Yeah, I Bolus, like I was saying, I really didn't think that they would have a counter spell, and so I thought the creeping chill was just gonna kill them. But I was wrong. I thought they would have like maybe sideboard counter spells, but not main deck. So it was just you know, and they uh, they did have four mana up, and we saw, like, a two-mana removal spell. If I just get the third bird, and they just had two two more of those divine arrows, um, which... Because, like, they they could have kept their tapper back, but they didn't They didn't keep the tapper back. So that, that's kind of saying that they had, like... And they knew about my ability to get another bird, and so that's kind of saying that they had another bird covered... Like that's what I kind of that's what that's honestly what I thought that they may have like the other birds covered because they they didn't keep the tapper back and kept four mana like maybe you know two removal spells or a settle or something like that. So I th I thought that I thought there was just a less chance that they had a counter spell and so I just played my creeping chill. All right, Storm, have a good night. Hope you have a good work day tomorrow, and I'll see you tomorrow night. Probably, Rev Daddy, using four on new Nissa to play Green Tron is probably a better investment because new Nissa gets to play. Um, you can play Nissa in just a whole bunch of decks. So that's that's just a better investment for your wild card than mission briefing. Thanks, Criticom. And we got Big Slider coming on in here with that sub, 20th sub of the day. Thanks, Big Slider. That means we gotta crack another pack and we hit another sub goal towards our next sub battle stream. Two sub goals tonight. That is awesome. Can we, Jace? Do you have some mysteries over there that help? Always they'll help us figure a way out of this. <laughs> mill opponent lands away. Should be milling the opponent, take their lands. I'll probably just end up milling them two lands. No, you're right. I should have should have milled my opponent. All right, so we're looking for another black source, of course. Um, Drown Catacomb would be another good one. It's a matter of giving. Or Drown Secrets. Don't kill my Jace. No, Jace dead. Draw a black land. Oh, that's not so bad. I've got them all figured out. It's how you play the hand you're dead. 
So even if they have another Benelish Marshal, Jace won't die. Here's another Benelish Marshal. I can I can mission briefing like the lava coil uh, if we need to if we don't find the black source. Don't test me. We're gonna hopefully find the black source though. Let's think this. Yeah, I'm gonna take this. It's fine. Black mana. Um, I mean, my opponent's dead next turn, right? I just attack. Yeah, they they can die from that. I guess I was thinking, you know, if we protect, if I protect Jays, I can like mill myself out. But I guess they're also at twelve, which is not very much. And yeah, next next turn we'll have the Black Source for Ritual Set. All right, we're going to be going to a game three here. Hopefully our opponent keeps a one lander again and doesn't hit a second land drop for a while. This isn't over until we figure out a solution. All right, not going to risk it this time. I'm not going to risk them having some one mana removal spell. Because I'm going to find another Phoenix. There is more Phoenixes. Game three. Hmm. All right, this looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah, this deck does kind of feel like a modern deck. Yeah, whenever it's, whenever it's doing its thing, like, you can just mill so many cards and bring back all these three-two haste and you know hit them for six and you gain six with like a couple creeping chills. Um, this could be a, a matchup for creeping chill or sorry for cry of the carnarium. Do you have to be a little worried about like one? Double black is just really hard, honestly. <laughs> it is. Speaking of that, I'm keeping this with a ritual set. Uh, but besides that, 
Uh, the Benelish Marshal can like keep their things out of getting Cry the Carnariumed. I don't want these cards. I mean, I want the. I need a black land, not a black spell. My hand's pretty terrible, but it did help that my opponent just played one land and passed. Oh no. They're playing more lands. What are they doing? Yeah, I want a mission briefing discovery. No, what are all these lands doing? I don't like it. Gosh, these cards are just are good. Yeah, that's kind of awkward there. We need Drown Secrets or Jace. Hey, what's up, Dr. Fuzzy, Fuzzy Gloves? Thank you so much for that support there. Let's get some hype votes in the channel. So yeah, just went with casting the Creeping Chill, because I don't really want my mission briefing countered. I think our opponent's just kind of sitting back on some counter spells now. All right, well, now we can. now we know we can cast three spells. Oh no, I do need black mana. Dang it. I wanted to get rid of those lands, but I actually do need this black mana. Maybe I just need to keep on casting all these creeping chills and then mission briefing back creeping chills and just do 20 with creeping chills. Maybe I'll do that. You never know. Fourteen. Write it down. Three to you, gain three. Write it down. <laughs> is this standard? <laughs> uh, this is not standard's proudest moment. Yeah, they're just sitting there on count a bunch of counter spells. I have nothing to do. A <laughs> better question, is this constructed?
Discovery. We gotta find a phoenix in here, right? So basically, just one. I just want a phoenix. Uh, drown secrets. Why would you just tap both black sources? Why would that make sense? Yeah, we could cast down, but we're fine. So if I would have found a phoenix, I would have just charred a course for the, you know, for the full value there. We stand yeah, that's together. the plan. Have secrets get countered and then cast Ritual of Soot. I will lend you my strength. That's the plan. Well then. All right, where are them phoenixes at? <laughs> We've gone through 33 cards, zero. Phoenixes, that is. Didn't hit a single Phoenix. Still, we've gone through 40 cards. 41 cards. A uh, single Phoenix. Uh, sure. I'll just draw a radical idea. We gotta hit like all four phoenixes next turn, right? And just like bring four creatures back. Of more than you assume.
There's one. Thirteen cards in the library. Eleven cards. We've only seen one Phoenix. Alright, well that's going to force me to ditch it here. Ten cards left. Seven cards left. I've seen two. So the coil getting countered. means I can't really go coil. We just have to hit another phoenix here. All right, three phoenixes. There's the fourth. I'm gonna need that land though next turn. So if I attack, I die to, to, I die to Divine Arrow, which we saw a lot of Divine Arrows game one. So I am not planning on attacking here. I'm planning on setting up, killing them next turn. Because if our opponent has all these cards in hand, they have to be sitting on Divine Arrows. We saw multiple of those the first game. Yeah, I'm playing to the Jace win. So next turn, next turn I'm going to go Coil, Soot, and Jace. Right? Like I'd play all those things. Oh, Deputy Detention. Well, 3 1. I mean, it was the, the first game was the one that I really regret there, of course. Definitely regret the first game. I could have just been playing into the counter spells with the rituals. They would have got countered, to be honest. We just never hit phoenixes till like, the last ten cards in our deck. But the first game, I regret not just, you know, just casting the, the Creeping Chill. Oh, no, not Mono Red. No, not Mono Red. No, I boarded out the Narc Amoebas for the two mana removal spells, and that could be wrong. That could have been wrong, because, yeah, Narc Amoebas would have really saved me that third game. I your great. This is my masterpiece. Yeah, Narc Amoebas would have saved me that other game. Can't be mono red. I 
I'll return where you slumber. <laughs> no, Narc Amoeba, that's not where I don't want to draw you. You gotta come in and block these team kins, Narc Amoeba. This will come in handy. Gross. Is that an opt? Okay. Well, our opponent, do they have lethal? No, they would have put me down to one. There is a lesson to be learned here. If only we would have hit like four phoenixes <laughs> and all those guards. I guess we'll try. Cry the Canarium and Ritual of Soot. Um, instead of the Ashiox. Is Ashiox better than Jace? This matchup? No. No. Alright, I'm not going Coil and Cast Down. I'm not gonna... Not gonna do it. I don't want to dilute my deck. I think my best chance of winning is... Not having these things in my hand. Where's Drowned Secrets? It's another awful hand. Drowned Secrets? Alright, Ritual of Set. You can do it. Okay. <laughs> I don't think Creeping Jill has a Hobbit on it. Alright, casting this here in case we find Watery Grave. Uh, Discovery's good. I'll just play that, look for another black source. Alright, and there's Watery Grave. And yeah, we'll keep Discovery as well. So does Creeping Chill have a Hobbit on it, is the question. No, I think that's just a normal person. I can see where he thought Hobbit, though. Get to Journey Mage. Where are you trying to get to? Journey. Mage. Let's try this. No, no. We need our Drowned Secrets. Likely another light up the stage Pri with prioritizing attacking me. Ah, no one likes a bully.
Drown secrets. Here we go. That just happened. Okay, I I can't play three spells this turn. I could next turn. Do I want to just play like a discovery right now, or do I want to just save everything? I probably cannot save everything. So yeah, let's just go with the discovery now. Jeez, get rid of these radical ideas. That's true, I could briefing Ritual of Soot, if need be. Ugh, don't draw Creeping Chill. Alright, where are these Phoenixes at? Love it. It's a good one. Those little birdies. Ooh, a third birdie. A fourth birdie. Thanks, Hooblies. We got four birdies. Parappa! Any jellyfish? It's not a jellyfish. I'll take, keep that mission briefing there. <laughs> One month till you get that fancier tie. Thanks, Parappa. Birdie! Birdie! Birdies are dying. Hey, Jay Rockefeller, getting that resub in here as well. Keeping those hype boats going. Sub number 23 on the day. <laughs> Birdie! Alright, this will be able to get all the Narc Amoebas out also. Oh, wait. Wait, I guess I need another land, don't I? Well, Charter Course, hit a land, please. I forgot I didn't have an opt. I couldn't opt briefing opt. Yeah, I do need one land. There's a Narc Amoeba. And we got a land. Well, they were regular mono red game one, and then game two here, yeah, they had like the lava, the the weird three drop that's not chain whirler, and then the Jaya's greetings. But game one, they were definitely just regular old mono red. Okay. 
is the price of his destiny. If I play removal here on the draw, I guess Jace is the card I can take out, maybe. Nah, Jace did a pretty good job of eating burn spells that last game. Now we're just going to try to do the same thing. That was on a mold of five. Oh, I need to get Grixis Midrange now uploading. I'm behind on the YouTube uploads because I had to upload the Bant one twice. Because it messed up. Why am I keeping this? That's not a good hand. Hmm. Stupid multitasking. I look back over and I just kind of see like three lands that are colorful and like four spells and... Not a shock land. Ugh. Give me that jump catacomb back. Perfect. Perfect draw step. Which was the actual best draw step in my deck there. Alright, so we're at nine. Can we survive? I don't think... There we go. I didn't think that like playing Arclight Phoenix would be very reliable because I figured they would just have a removal spell for the Phoenix and then get to hit me with Steamkin and I need to find something better. And that's fine. That's, that's Jace taking five life whenever I'm at nine. That's good. Better next time. Yeah, I guess I keep radical idea. Yeah, gain five life, uh, plus... Didn't Jace mill over a Creeping Chill also? No, it didn't. I don't know, he did something else for me. So 
So am I casting Creeping Chill or Arclight Phoenix next turn? I guess Phoenix. I guess I don't have to cast Phoenix. I can just ditch it. This is going to be a close one. Or not. They're saying good game. Dang it, need to I just need one more turn. I was going to cast the Creeping Chill the next turn, so I was going to be able to cast Creeping Chill and get Phoenix's back. Ugh. Give me one turn. That's so close. Just need one more life. We were really close to turning a corner there. We were. This deck's still a lot of fun, though. So 3-2, and the first loss, um, I could have won the the first time. You know, played against the Mono White Splashing Blue, and I cast the Creeping Chill game one instead of Doug for Phoenix, because I thought it was more likely they had another remove another removal spell than a counter spell and they had the counter spell it's possible they just had the removal spell also but oh well um but yeah that's that's the mono red uh we won we won uh one of the games against mono red so that's kind of a good sign i i don't think that we're going to beat mono red very often with this deck uh, our best matchups are the control decks, like I was saying before. We didn't play any control, though. But that's what we want to face. Um, but yeah, 3-2 and two was a, still a good record there, and it was a fun deck to play. What do you think, Hawkeye? Yeah. No, Hawkeye, you can't eat the birds. Those birds aren't, aren't lunchtime for you. He's like, ooh, I want some birds. <laughs> There's a, a bird on the... that will, like... Because, I, like, where I live, there's, like, a bird that will come up on, like, the windowsill. And basically every day. And uh, sit on the windowsill and then, uh, and like, make a noise. Like, you know, like, at the, I don't know, it's beak against the window. And Hawkeye will, like, jump up and, yeah, it's okay. He'll, like, jump up and try to talk to the bird and everything. It's, it's adorable. Anyway, um, yeah, so we went 3-2. We went Phoenix. Yeah, so we went Arclight Phoenix with the league. Our sideboard's still kind of a mess. I mean, I don't really like cast down and lava coils. Like maybe we just want like just tons and tons of sweepers. Maybe just want like a bunch of moment of cravings. Instead of like these these things. I don't know. I don't really like I don't like cast down or lava coil or cry or ritual so I mean we we need removal, but I don't know like what the best removal to be playing. Maybe just a, a whole bunch of moment of cravings. That could be the thing. Um, so there we go. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like button over there. Um, be appreciative there. But thank you so much for watching Dredge, and I hope to see you for another video. Say bye, Hawkeye. Bye.